Spirit Law of Motion. This video tutorial is based on the learning activity sheets in Science 8, Quarter 1, Week 1. So bring out your learning activity sheets and turn your learner's module to pages 18 to 10. Our learning target for this session is infer that when a body exerts a force on another, an equal amount of force is exerted. Let's have some warm-up questions. I have here two questions for you to answer. For number one, please state the first law of motion. Your timer starts now. Excellent. The first law of motion or the law of inertia states that a body will remain at rest or move at constant velocity unless acted upon by an external net or an unbalanced force. For your next question, please state the second law of motion. The timer starts now. Good job! And yes, the second law of motion is the law of acceleration. It states that the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the magnitude of the net force acting on it and inversely proportional to the mass. And for this session, you are going to state and explain the third law of motion. Identify the action and reaction forces in different situations and solve for the unknown quantity using the equation in third law of motion. So now let's proceed to our topic for this section, the third law of motion. The third law of motion is the law of interaction, action, reaction. It states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. The question you need to answer when studying the third law of motion is that what happens when two objects interact each other? So what happens when you place a ball on the table? The table will exert a force on the ball in the same manner that the ball will exert force on the table. So there are two forces acting on this uh, interaction, the force on the table and the force on the object. And we call it the action and the reaction force. The magnitude of the forces are the same but in opposite direction. So let's have more examples of Newton's third law of motion. Our first example is that consider a swimmer pushing off from the side of a pool as illustrated. The swimmer pushes against the pool wall with her feet and accelerates in the direction opposite to that of her push. The wall has exerted an equal and opposite force back on the swimmer. The swimmer gives an action force while the wall gives really action force. For our next example, while rolling a boat, when you want to move forward on a boat, you paddle by pushing the water backward, causing it to move forward. Our next example, you hit the wall with a force, and that exact same amount of force is returned by the wall. And for our last example, the gun and the bullet. When gun was fired, it exert a forward force on the bullet, and the bullet exert an equal and opposite reaction on the ground. Question Why doesn't the gun recoil with the same acceleration as the bullet? If it is clear to you, the second law of motion, when the force is equal to mass multiplied by the acceleration, 
are the accelerations of the force over the mass, it clearly states that as the mass increases, the acceleration decreases. So the answer to the question is that the gun has more mass on the bullet, hence the gun accelerates less than on the bullet. And in third law of motion, we will also consider the force, the mass, and the acceleration. And for our sample problem, Lucy, 60 kg, pushes Anna, 90 kg, with a force of 540 Newton directed to the east. What force does Anna exert on Lucy? And what acceleration does each person experience? So to answer our first question, what force does Anna exert on Lucy? Lucy pushes Anna with 540 Newton directed to the east. And what does the third law of motion says? It says that the magnitude of the two forces should be the same while the direction should be opposite. So if Lucy pushes Anna with 540 Newton, Anna pushes Lucy with 500 Newton too. And the direction is opposite. If Lucy pushes Anna directly to the east, then Anna pushes Lucy directly to the west. And that's the answer for our question number one. So to answer our question number two, what acceleration does each person experience? So we have to identify what are the given. So the given are the mass number one, 60 kilogram for Lucy, mass number two, 90 kilogram for Anna, and we have the force 540. And since we are looking for the acceleration of the two persons, our equation should be acceleration is equal to force over the mass. So let's identify the acceleration for Lucy. Given the mass of Lucy is equal to 60 kg, acceleration is equal to force over the mass. Acceleration is equal to 540 Newton over 60 kg. The answer is acceleration is 9 meter per second squared for Lucy. And to find the acceleration for the second person or for Anna, given her mass, which is 90 kg, acceleration is equal to 540 Newton over 90 kg, then Anna's acceleration is 6 meter per second squared. And if you notice, since Anna has the greater mass, then Anna has a lower acceleration. And these are the things to remember in Newton's third law of motion. There are two forces acting on Newton's third law of motion. They have the same magnitude, but in opposite direction. And at this point, turn your activity sheet to enrichment part. For our enrichment activity number one, you're going to choose the letter of the best answer. You will write the chosen letter on a separate sheet of paper. For your enrichment activity number two, you're going to choose the letter of the best answer and again, write the chosen letter on a separate sheet of paper. And for enrichment activity number three, for each of the following interactions, identify action and reaction forces. Again, you may write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. For example, in letter A, a swimmer pushing off from the side of a pool. You're going to identify which gives the action and which gives the reaction forces. And for our last activity, the enrichment activity number 4, read the problem carefully and solve for the unknown quantity. So you're going to write the given, to find the given, the equation, and the I hope you learned something today and if you have questions or clarifications regarding the topic we discussed, feel free to contact your subject teacher through text, call, or post your questions in your official Facebook group page. Thank you 
very much.